Hiring talent. How Microsoft hires top tech talent. Recruiters for Microsoft tech and data teams have discovered that hiring the top engineers necessitates a world-class interviewing process. To achieve this properly, the recruitment team focuses on sourcing and screening the best engineers, a well-designed interview look process, an internal debrief session, and growing your hiring reputation. What is Microsoft interviewing process like? Why is this set up the way it is? And how do recruiters think about each stage? What sets Microsoft hiring process apart? Overall, the recruiting team's ability to hire the finest tech talent boils down to two factors. A disciplined method that screens for a candidate's core capabilities as well as their technical ability and a strong emphasis on applicant's experience. It is not surprising that the candidate's interview experience might be either an attractor or a detractor. The recruiters discuss Microsoft four-step hiring process in detail to understand how each phase is created and what the recruiter team does to make it extremely effective. The steps are as follows. Tech talent sourcing and screening. Technical assessment and screening. In-person interview rounds. Internal hiring team debrief session. And building a hiring reputation. Teach talent sourcing and screening for the recruiter. According to Microsoft recruiters, any recruitment process begins with one of the three streams for talent sourcing, namely online applications from people applying via Microsoft job page, for example. Referrals from current Microsoft employees or people within a recruiter's network. LinkedIn searches where the recruiter's team uses tools like LinkedIn's Talent Insights function to conduct outbound candidate sourcing. Online applications. Online applications tend to be where the majority of IT talents resides, but they also necessitate the most legwork on the part of the recruiter's hiring team. They frequently claim that they are hit or miss. According to one recruiter on the plus side, you know they are interested in your company, so you don't have to sell as much. On the minor side, you get a lot of people that apply who are unqualified. Referrals Statistically, recruiters have discovered that referrals continue to have the best rate of success recruits, and this is where much of Microsoft hiring energy are concentrated. This is because Referrals not only make them more likely to suit the culture of the specific team due to their networks, but they also make the hiring process considerably speedier for the recruitment team. One recruiter exclaims, We are frequently having a notion of their work ethic and competencies. Therefore, they tend to do better in interviews. A recruiter elucidates, Referrals come from previous experience or unknown attributes, which help tell the team of some characteristic they have already demonstrated. They are also usually simpler to close because they already have a friend there. So there's that idea of if I go there, I'll fit in. Furthermore, they are simpler to close because the individual who referred them usually undertakes some kind of site selling on behalf of the hiring team. A Microsoft recruiter suggests creating internal referral contests in which team members are rewarded or batched for referrals that result in recruitment. Companies can also host referral lunches. For example, a manager might take everyone who refer a hire out to lunch. So you get some face time with a corporate leader. If you don't have a lot of money, there are a number of inventive ways you may do to improve referrals. LinkedIn searches. Using LinkedIn to find top IT talent is one option, but the recruiter teams prefer to use LinkedIn Talent Insights tool embedded inside the app. 
the data insights provided by these two on the market assist the team in determining how to improve their scorecard in order to fill the role with the best tech talent available. Talent Insights basically collects all of everyone's data on LinkedIn and breaks down all kinds of amazing stuff. How much is male versus female, says a recruiter. What is the location of the talent? You may also examine what organizations are hiring the most of that talent from your competition. Another benefit from the recruiter's hiring team is that they are able to do specific keyword searches relating to tech talent they need and have the number of profiles they need to look at. For example, if a candidate needs to be in Redmond or know basic Python, Talent Insights can pick up those keywords from someone's bio, experience and education and only display candidates who match those keywords exactly. You can either filter out certain keywords to get an even more specific search result. Online Telephonic Recruiter Screening What do I do in that first conversation? The recruiter continues. Is try to understand what's motivating them to communicate to me at all. The candidate experience is important to Microsoft recruitment process and embracing this approach not only makes a candidate feel valued but it also drive the rest of the interview process. Knowing what the candidate wants allows the recruiter team to express precisely how the organization meets and fails to fulfill those expectations, ensuring that the higher is the best possible match. Online Telephonic Hiring Manager Screening This is for the hiring manager. After a successful screening, a recruiter shares what they learn with the hiring manager, which may include a candidate's goals, reasons for changing jobs, if applicable, and some notable takeaway features. The hiring manager will then conduct an online or telephone screening we shall take one of the two forms, depending on whether the candidate is a junior or senior programmer, an online technical assessment, or an hour-long remote meeting. The reason for the distinction is that, in the recruiter's experience, seniors do not believe that online technical evaluation accurately reflect their experience in areas such as leadership. They require a little more wooing and selling and tailored type of procedure, the recruiter says. However, for juniors, the online technical exam helps the recruiter's hiring team in removing as much bias as possible from their recruitment. The candidate's ability often extends beyond their CV, and by doing an online screening, such as a technical test, recruiters have seen rockstar applicants show through, where they might not have otherwise been able to. In-person interview loop The recruiter's team invites the candidates from an in-person interview loop once both the recruiter and the hiring manager have completed their screens. This loop takes one day to complete and consists of four to five interviews. The day is divided into two parts, a morning session and an afternoon session. The morning session often assesses coding, design, and problem-solving skills, while the afternoon session assesses Microsoft's six core competencies. Some examples of core competency Microsoft looks for are adaptability. The technology sector is moving so quickly that we require engineers who can adapt to new technologies, contexts, and conditions, explains the recruiter. The coding language you specialize in now may be obsolete in 10 years. Showing specific examples of when you have been able to pivot or adapt in the past can give interviewers a sense of how you will perform in the future. Collaboration The recruiters team six individuals who are good team players and can successfully work across many teams or organizations. Part of our reviews are genuinely based on how we make others better, a recruiter explains. We don't want intelligent folks who aren't team players. 
customer centric. Another area where recruiters claim big tech companies look for core competency skills is whether or not a candidate thinks about a customer's needs during problem solving. Are you anticipating clients needs or expectations? Can you provide examples of times when you put the needs of your customer first or solve a consumer pain point? We want people who put the consumer first. The candidate experience is the center of the interview loops. Recruiters understand that every prospect they engage with is nearly usually a customer. If they have horrible interview experience with Microsoft and they are our customer, that's bad news. As a result, the recruiters plan a pre-interview call with the prospect, conduct the entire interview loop in one day, and employ behavioral-based questions that enable candidates to exhibit examples of where their strengths come true. This assists candidates feel more prepared for their interview day, rather than arriving apprehensive or stressed, where they won't be able to provide the best. Preparation call. The prep call walks the candidate through the day's detail, such as where to park and who they'll be meeting when they arrive, which the recruiter says actually helps the candidates feel confident on that day and offers them the time to prepare. Meeting a candidate on a personal and sincere level during the pre-interview call can help them feel a lot more at ease on interview day. If you get flustered or feel like you have messed up one round, the interviewer should be asking you for breaks, the recruiter explains. Simply refocus, center yourself and begin again. I also make sure the interviewers are prepared by instructing them to allow candidates to get a drink of water, use the restroom and regroup before the following round, says one recruiter. One day interview loop. Rather than spreading out a round of interviews over several weeks, the recruiters conduct four to five interviews in a single day, each with a different interviewer. This, according to one source, is due to their emphasis on candidate experience and efficiency. Having numerous persons for various participants in the interviewing process ensures that an applicant is evaluated objectively. As a result, the interview loop can be better tailored to the candidate's specific situation. According to a recruiter, it's usually a mix of contributors, peers, managers, and finally, a high-up leader. I also aim to mirror the loop in order to be like the person. For example, a female candidate in an all-male loop has a lower close rate statistically. So, is a female candidate, I will enlist the help of another woman or several women. During the pre-call with the candidate, a recruiter also discusses how the interview loop is set up. Candidates will know roughly what to expect, will be able to prepare a little for the various interviews, will be able to get guidance from recruiters on the specific questions, and will be less likely to arrive on the day getting bogged down. Behavioral based question. Normal interview questions, according to the recruiters, are simple and demand a one-word or yes-no response. However, when it comes to assessing core abilities, they aim to ask questions that provide them with more information about situational behavioral responses. This enables participants to exhibit real-world experience while also providing recruiters with insight into how a candidate reacts and behaves in various settings. Internal Hiring Team Debrief Session Previously, after each round of an interview, the recruiter's team would enter their assessment onto a form so that other interviewers could see what feedback an applicant was receiving. Microsoft, on the other hand, has recently attempted to remove as much bias as possible from those interviews so that candidates are given a fairer and more accurate opportunity. The recruitment team now interviews prospects blindly so that they may make a selection based only on their personal experience with that candidate. Other than the recruiting manager, nobody can see the interview feedback throughout the day, the team leader states. 
if the first interviewer says no higher than two of the peers or even someone further up say no hiring, it's difficult as an interviewer will not be able to consider when making your judgment. Instead, during a 30-minute interview debrief session, feedback on the candidate's interview loop is shared. This allows them to assess which areas candidates perform in without being swayed by each other's input throughout the day. The recruiter's team discusses a prospect's merits and limitations, as well as whether or not they thought the candidate was a good fit. These debriefing sessions are designed with two goals in mind. The individual with the least experience goes first. As with the previous example of an interviewer being swayed by past data, allowing the least experienced interviewer to provide their input first indicates they are less likely to change their feedback based on what a senior stated before them. Even though we have a collaborative atmosphere, there is something psychological about it. It is difficult for someone who is one or more levels lower in seniority to go up against that senior. Coachable is a quality worth investigating. If a recruiter notices an area where a prospect may be trained, the recruiter investigates if the candidate has the potential to learn or if they would be better suited for another role. I ask things like, okay, this individual isn't a senior, but could we hire them as an intermediate software engineer and grow them to that level, says one recruiter. Sometimes they discover that someone is a Microsoft hire, but not for this particular team. That's where I can take good notes and subsequently pass them along to another team. However, Microsoft hiring process does not end there. Once a candidate has completed their round of interviews, the recruiter's teams take advantage of the opportunity to ask them how they felt throughout the process. Building a hiring reputation. Obtaining feedback from applicants after they have completed their interviews look is a critical step for recruiters. At the end of the day, after five interviews, a lot of them come out energized and chill about the team, says one recruiter. The more favorable you can make the experience, is the better. It's the first taste of what it's like to work for your organization, so give them a taste of what they are missing. Not only does it provide recruiters with useful information about how to improve a candidate's experience, but it's also has genuine business value that your competitors lack. If I ever receive negative feedback, it's a coaching opportunity for me to coach that leader or manager, a recruiter experience. It's a competitive disadvantage if prospects don't leave our interviews delighted and eager to work here. Recruiters do this by asking questions. How was your experience? And what are your opinions on the role? Do you like it? Are you a member of the team? Do you despise it? This helps to establish a strong hiring reputation and it ensures that even candidates who aren't offered the position feel as though they learned something and contributed to a company in which they will inevitably become customers. Thank you very much.